Okay, I got a uh, BNG circulator that I put in last year, and the coupling broke. I don't know if you can see it in there. Uh, so I'm going to change this out. It's a dual pump system. I got this circulator isolated right now, and. Uh, Ditch your replacement bell and gasset coupling. Uh, I believe that this is my spiral link coupling, so let's see which one I'm going to use. Um, I'm thinking that this is still under warranty, so I may just use the uh, bell and gasket coupling assembly. So basically, what you got to do is uh, shut the power off, obviously and uh, take the power pack off and then uh, the coupling couples to the bearing assembly and the power pack and then the bearing assembly is the part there where the impeller is in the volute here so let me get this off just basically four bolts take it off and uh, show you what broke you can see the coupling broke I got it off the uh, off the bearing assembly there, so I can just kind of lean that power pack right in there. So we'll uh, get a new bearing assembly on it. I don't know. I'm tempted to use a spiral link, but because uh, these are lifetime warranty. But like I said, I think this pump is under warranty because it's. Just over a year old, so I don't know which one to use here because they won't give me one of those, but give me one of these. So I'm probably going to go with one of these just because it's under warranty. All right, I'm going to change her out. Let's see. Circulator spins, so that's free. It spins just fine. So there's no uh, no issue with the impeller. This is the uh, that's the motor there. These are dual voltage motors. Um, it's on a Wild McLean Ultra. So, all right, let me uh, get this off and we'll get it back together. Okay, now the way I usually put these on is. I'll put it on the bearing assembly first. Okay, it's got an Allen head in there. There's a little set hole. There's a set screw in there. Um, let me show you on the show you on the uh, circulator motor here. Okay, see that little set set hole right there. Same things on the impeller shaft right there on the bearing assembly. And then this coupling will go on like this. And then as the motor spins, those uh, springs will take the shock when it's running. You can see the springs broke and gouge the inside of the bearing assembly, but I think it's okay. It's not uh, that far gone. Caught it before it uh, before it ripped the whole thing apart, so I think we'll be good. Um, now what I do is this will pull out, and I'll mount it on the motor. And then I'll mount the motor back onto the bearing assembly. Okay, there it is, all back reassembled. Four bolts. Tighten the uh, everything on it. We'll see if you can see it in there. See the springs in there and everything. Okay. Uh, not too difficult to do as long as the pump's in a decent spot. Like I said, we change these whole complete assemblies. Or I changed them last year. This one in October, and then that one I, I remember being here a couple days before Christmas. That's why I'm like, when I got the call here, I'm like, man, I'm like, I, I know I did something there last Christmas. So like I said that was 12:23. So let me turn it on. Like I said I got a broken one. Pull the part on this. Uh, broke apart right there you can see kind of where it wore down so um, what usually causes these to fail 
is the motor mounts. There's some rubber motor mounts here. You can see them right here. And there's one in there. And they get weak and the pump sags and it causes the uh, assembly to fail. I just think that this was a junk one. As you can see, it's made in, made in China. So let's turn it on, see how it sounds. Okay. There we go, she's back up and running nice and quiet. Pumping some water. Isolation valves are back open, so that's uh, pretty much changing a uh, coupling assembly on any uh, gallon gasset uh, circulator. There's different types. Um, this is just one of them. They have, uh, I don't have any with me, but they have uh, actual rubber couplings too that go in between in these bearing assemblies. Um, so there's all different types. This one is a maintenance free pump, so there's no, you don't have to oil anything in here. Like the old style ones, like the Series 100s that you find in the residential uh, situations. The Series 100s, they had uh, the three oil ports, one on the bearing assembly, and then they oil the bearing assemblies on the motor. Um, but this, these ones are, there's no oil ports on here. As you can see, they're just, these are all sealed, sealed bearing assemblies. So, there those couplings running and then pumping away. So that's it for this one. Uh, like and subscribe. It's nice and cold here in Buffalo, about uh, uh, 18 degrees today with like a wind chill of zero on December 15th. So a little over 14 months and that coupling failed. So. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.